and we're going to build a beaver dam in a box. Here's what you'll need to build your beaver dam in a box. First, you're going to need a large plastic container. Next, some sand, <laughs> or you could use dirt. Next, you'll need some rocks. Small rocks are good, such as gravel. And some sticks. You might collect those around your yard or at the park. And finally, a pitcher of water or a bucket of water to do our demonstration and see if your dam worked. First, take your sand and you can make a hill or a feature, something that you see out in nature. Very good. Next, you wanna carve that river channel. So make a river flowing down your hill, down to the bottom of your container. Excellent, now you've set the scene. You can now begin with building your beaver dam. Use the sticks and use those rocks in any way that you can. Okay, what are you doing now? So now I'm, I made like another beaver, and I made it. So now I'm just making a beaver dam. You should like make one right down here. And do rocks wherever you want your river to stop. Or, but if you, you're not, sometimes you might not have enough sand to make like a gray hill. So you should like end it quick, like, like about like right here. But it will still work. Dam, your dam might work. It can actually might hold up to this water. I can't wait to test it with water. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. About now. Great. Okay, we're almost ready for our experiment and to add water. But before we do, I'm going to ask Gavin, where do you think the flow of water is going to get stopped and start backing up? Ooh, behind your dam. Well, let's try it. Let's pretend a storm has started in the mountains. The water's flowing down the mountains. And as it does, it's getting stopped by the beaver dam. No! And it's creating a pool. This is not So you might notice that the water does flow past your stick dam, and that does happen in real life too. A little bit of the water has to flow beyond those branches or trees that the beaver use, and the river continues. But you should have noticed at least some pooling or a small pond forming behind the dam, and that's what the beavers rely on to help protect them from predators as they build their lodge or home in that pond. So to make your, next time I make one, you know I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put mud because that's what beavers use. That's right. In their life. They use mud kind of like the glue to hold those branches together. Well, that concludes our experiment of the beaver dam in a box. And thanks for joining us here at the Boise Watershed. Bye! Bye, -bye.